There are several games and events, for instance, planned at Concord High School, and the principal says they're going to be keeping a close eye on that heat index to decide whether or not they're going to compete. Parts of the state are under a heat advisory today as students are returning to the classroom. The National Weather Service issuing the advisory for Sullivan, Merrimack, Cheshire, Hillsborough, and Rockingham counties from noon until 6 p.m. Dr. Lucas Combe, the medical director for the emergency department at Wentworth Douglas Hospital, says it's important for people to plan in advance. We'll pack water, um, uh, sports drinks, um, fluids uh, that you can travel with easily and have uh, accessibility to. School districts across the state also giving parents and students a heads up, especially if they play sports. I think it's a responsibility for everybody, um, whether you're a coach or a teammate, to say, you know, is it really necessary to push hard on days like this? And I always say it's better to be benched for a day or two than out for the season. Dr. Colm says for everyone dealing with the heat, there are signs of trouble you should watch out for. Fatigue, muscle cramps, um, starting to get really, really uh, out of breath, rapid heart rate. Those are early signs of what people would describe as heat exhaustion. Now, Dr. Combs says when it comes to that morning cup of coffee, also be careful with your caffeine in intake. That can accelerate your heart rate, predispose you to heat intolerance and exhaustion. Reporting live in Concord, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.